The story of ancient Rome is a story of complete freedom of manners. Can today's society approach the traditions and rules of the Romans with its own assessment? Probably not. They made their own laws, lived the way they wanted, and passed on their view of life and the fulfillment of desires to their descendants for more than four centuries. Many acts of the ancient Romans are now considered promiscuity, but back then they were just innocent fun. With such freedom of manners, there were still rules. Bodily intimacy in ancient Rome was perceived as a gift from heaven. It was believed that it was the gods who made it possible for people to experience such pleasure. And if the gods allowed it, then mere mortals should take everything from life. So they did. They had long parties with wine and beautiful women and enjoyed themselves. In Rome, a woman was not considered a second-class citizen. Her rights to satisfy her desires were not restricted at all. The existing laws did something to regulate the preservation of marital fidelity. If a husband caught his wife with another man, he had to kill him. The wife was not punished. At the same time, a married woman was free to spend her time in pleasurable pleasures with slaves and slave girls. Men indulged in amusement in public baths or brothels with girls and boys of lower classes, or paid professional priestesses or priests of love for pleasure. Such pastimes did not constitute adultery. Restrictions on intimacy were more social than moral. Nobles could not have relations with women from their own circle. If an illegitimate child was born, there could be many legal problems with inheritance. And the Romans didn't want problems. The market of services to satisfy the desires of the nobility was similar to the slave market. Representatives of the ancient profession were prepared from childhood. Girls and boys were raised in special houses until a certain age, about 10 to 12 years old, when they could already be put up for sale. They differed in appearance, whitened faces, heavily tinted eyes, and light transparent clothes, which made it possible to easily see the goods. The emperors of ancient Rome did not deny themselves anything. They showed an example of a free and idle life to their subjects, and they behaved the same way. But simple pleasures rulers were not enough, and often the pleasure was followed by reprisals. Nero liked to execute the priestesses of love, with whom he spent the night, and Emperor Marcus Aurelius harnessed his chariot with naked girls and appeared at events. Roman subjects took such shocking acts as a given and expressed great delight. Children of rulers, seeing the debauched life of their fathers, adopted their way of life, and in many ways ahead of them. It is known that the daughter of one of the emperors embodied their desires first with a dozen men, then with a hundred. And later they began to say about her that she cognized almost half of the Romans. The laws and traditions of civilized society are very different from the ancient Roman, but quite often the echoes of free life are heard in our modern world.